pessimistic. Two on the uh, budget stump bike build here. A couple of changes have been made. An obvious change is this custom made stunt cage. So, the story behind this we bought two scooters for $50 and they were just shocked. Like, beyond gone. Pretty sure the engine's bad, the wiring got ripped up somehow. There's no fairings, they've definitely been in some accidents. Um, we picked them up for cheap. Pretty much useless other than for the mem. First thing I did, I went ahead and uh, kind of just chopped, chopped the living hell out of everything on the uh, first scooter. And then uh, just that back portion is what I really used. I just kind of took everything apart and then cut the back part in half to provide two of these beautiful bars, one for each side. So the problem was there was a lot of stuff on there, so I ended up having to do quite a bit of angle grinding uh, in order to make that work. But after I was done chopping those pieces up and making them look really clean, they looked like this pretty much. Step two, was I had to figure out how I was gonna mount them onto the bike itself. And luckily, that second scooter, kinda two-wheeled thing that we bought, had some, some nice like flat stock. So I went ahead and chopped that up into something that I could weld to. I then proceeded to find a place where the bars would fit well without touching anything and when I held tack welded those up and I then did as nice of welds that I could do with a nice cheap Harbor Freight welder. I then proceeded to do the exact same thing on the other side and after I had got them all welded up and put on the bike I realized that they needed some kind of support in between. I wasn't going to do it originally from that second scooter that we bought. I ended up cutting the uh, triple tree off it and I uh, was gonna use that as the metal. Unfortunately, there was some zigzags that needed to occur in order to make it fit. Underneath the bike, there was the exhaust and the other stuff and mounts that I had to get around. But I still wanted to use that piece because it was just like perfect and it fit, kind of, not really. And I uh, went ahead and tack welded it up after I chopped it up to finalize the welds. Stunt bikes, in my opinion, should be flashy and have cool colors. So, I went with the neon green. After painting it, I absolutely did not like the color. But, I thought might as well make some custom stickers. So I went to a vinyl cutter and made those up real quick. And after seeing them with the vinyl stickers on the bike, it turned out pretty great. Then, the rear end on the bike, I originally thought I was going to do an LED strip for the uh, tail light. After some consideration, the amount of fiberglass and Bondo that I was going to have to use to make it work just really didn't seem like it was going to be worth it. So uh, I looked around at the uh, parts wall. I saw that from the, the custom scrambler I built, I had the leftover tail light and it was in perfect condition. And after taking it out, I then mocked it up to the bike and it looked like it was gonna work. Uh, I got it in there, so laid on just some fiberglass sheets with some Bondo resin jelly. Let it dry. After that, uh, laid on some fiberglass Bondo just to help kind of give it some structure before I removed it. And uh, after removing it, ended up throwing another layer of Bondo 
on it. Uh, overall, I think the shape is going to turn out pretty good. I think it's better than the stock circular kind of oval tail light. And uh, after it gets painted and shaped well, I think it'll end up looking pretty sweet. Otherwise, that's part two on the stunt bike. And uh, stick around for part three. It's just gonna continually get better and better.